Hey, in today's video you're gonna see a comparison between the 800D and the 600D taking a selfie, same lens, same settings, same studio. But first, I need to build a studio. As you can see, I'm going for a very simple setup. Two lights. I should be lit from both sides properly. The middle light will create a hair light. I will lift up the, the blinds, so it's gonna be very bright. Today we're gonna use this 800D and a 600D. And the main difference is the autofocus system. The system in the 800D have 45 autofocus points. All of them cross type, which means it's more accurate and you can choose your focusing very easily. Also, you can use the mobile app to see yourself and trigger the camera from afar, which I will try, which makes it very easy. And then I will show you the six years older brother of the 800D, the 600D. We have to use some trickery and I can show you, it's, it's not gonna be too easy. For this experiment, we're gonna use the 85mm Canon F1.8. So, on these crop sensors, I will need a huge room, so you're gonna see how far the camera is gonna be. But I love this lens, so I want to use as much as I possibly can. So, the difference between the two cameras the 600D was released 2011 February. The 800D was released 2017 February, which is six years difference. This one has 18 megapixel, this one has 24 megapixel. The 600D have nine out of focus, the 800D have 45 out of focus points. The 600D can work with the remote control, which I'm not gonna use, because if you, like me, use the older camera, maybe you didn't order it, you didn't have money for it. So we're not gonna use that one, we're gonna use the old tricks. For the 800D, you don't need the remote control, you can just use your phone, connect to the Wi-Fi and just shoot that way. The main difference between these two cameras, apart from the megapixel, which you will see, is not gonna make a huge difference with the photos. The main difference is the video mode between these two cameras. The 800D have the amazing dual pixel autofocus with 1080-60 FPS and the 600D have 1080-30 FPS with contrast-based autofocus system. Anyway, let's move on to the next stage when we're gonna take some pictures. I will start this with the 800D because it's a newer system so it's gonna be easier to find the right settings and get everything started. Then I will use manual mode on both cameras, same settings, so we can see the end result. So what I did there is I have the camera in portrait mode, I went to the form application, you will see a little image on the screen. You can choose whichever you want to set up, as you can see I can set the ISO, shutter speed, everything I can set from here. I set the camera into timer mode. You just have to flip the switch to, to camera mode. Press the timer, make sure it's all focused on my face. Press the timer, throw away the phone, and just stand. As you can see, I even can control my video feed. Also what I did, I didn't show before, I put, I put a blanket on the heater, so it's not gonna be ugly and stripe stuff. Now, right now we're gonna put the 600D, same place, same settings. I'm gonna see how it's gonna work. I set up the 600D with a flippy screen toward me, but I need to focus on something. So we're gonna borrow this light and a piece of paper. So we borrow this light and a piece of paper, and I'm gonna draw myself on the paper, and I'm gonna stick it just oh, just about eye level for me. It's gonna be upside down, but yeah. You need to find what you need to do when you have it set up. You need to find the reference point where you will stand. So right now I'm next to the couch. In the middle there is some stitching, so I use that as a reference point for my toes. So all the settings are in manual mode, same as the other camera. And you go. Find your little X, set your focus, go out to the menu, you set the timer, I'm gonna set 10 frames. All we need to do now 
So remember your reference point. Set the light back. Press the button. Get ready and hope for the best. As you can see, my buffer filled up, which is a very good thing with this experiment because I had time to move a little bit. Because one point is such a shallow depth of field, I need a huge luck to, to get my eye in focus. So we're going to check out the pictures now. It's not too hard if you set up properly. You can use anything. You can use a broom, you can use whatever. You can use a stand-in, someone. Who, who just gonna stand here you set up your focus. Then you set your timer, check your reference point, and then just be a good model. So the main difference is with the other one, with the 800D, I can be 100% sure it's that the focus is on the better image quality, higher megapixel, so it should be, should be much easier to, to get that. Nice.